there is a strong chance then from what I'm hearing that Fury Wilder 3 could land in a in a foreign region then. Yeah, I mean, particularly if you can't do events in the United States with uh, spectators uh, and you can't do events in the UK with spectators. Now we know, I know Macau uh, is available uh, and they're going to be up and running. Uh, they are up and running now. Bob Arum seems very interested in having the Tyson Fury Wilder trilogy in a foreign country. And one of the countries he'd like, because he did business with them before with the Pacquiao fight, is China. China is up and running, so they can have people attend live events. The United States is not there yet, and a fight this magnitude needs a live gate. The reason Maku China is the main option for foreign countries is because Manny Pacquiao did two fights there. So Bob Arum did business with China before. However, there is a problem. Tyson and Fury fans will have to travel to China. And with the pandemic problem we having right now, some fans won't be allowed to go. Another problem they may face is financially. Right now, the economy sucks in the United States. There are over 30 million people unemployed. Who's gonna pay for the pay-per-view? People are worried about paying their rent and feeding their families. Who has $80 for a pay-per-view? And not just that, this is not a fight the fans are asking for. I can see it was Joshua Fury, Spence Crawford, Tifimo Loma, but more than likely, we know what's gonna happen in the third fight. The only people that wanna see this fight is Deontay Wilder fanboys and fangirls, and even some of them are not gonna pay for it, they're gonna fire stick it. In other boxing news, another former champion, Napsita Med, has said, Tyson Fury would demolish Anthony Joshua easier than he did Deontay Wilder. Very interesting. Maybe I need glasses. I don't see Deontay Wilder's chin being better than Anthony Joshua's. I think Anthony Joshua got a better arsenal of punches. And top to bottom, he has a better resume than Deontay Wilder. He's a better fighter. I just don't see it. What I do remember about Prince Napsid Hamed, great reflexes, good power, bad boxer, bad balance, kept his hands too low. And when he got in the ring with a legend like Marco Antonio Barrera, he got exposed. Kind of like a midget Deontay Wilder. Talking about someone being overhyped, Prince Napsid Hamed was very overhyped. And that Barrera fight brought him right back down to earth. By the look of things, he's enjoying his retirement. There's a lot of uncertainty in boxing right now. The live gates are getting in the way of the big fights with the financial problems and the pandemic problems. Like I said before, they may have to move this fight back to 2021. That being said, they could put a little event together like the UFC did for his boxing fans. A little something to watch to keep us optimistic. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone.